Go ahead and save again. Doesn't. <clears throat> I mean, why not? You know. There's a thing. Refill our shit for six coins. We're not gonna do it though. We're gonna head into Hooktail Castle. And you can just ignore those stairs because they don't they just go back outside. We need to switch to um Wait. We need to switch to Goombella. This guy's got a I don't know what he had, but I don't want him using it. Switch to Goombella so we can tattle on these guys. That's a Koopa Paratroopa. Well, um, it's basically a Koopa Troopa with wings. Max HP 4, attack 2, defense 1. I kind of hate that this guy gets to fly. Of course, you can stomp on him and he'll plunge down and be a plain Koopa Troopa. Yeah, do that, and he's yours. Stomp again to flip him, and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. Looks like you can still wiggle them around a bit. All right, let's. Fuck it, I'm just gonna. Yeah, fire flower. Why not? I like to keep out Goombella in here. Got a courage shell. Gives your partner courage to boost our defense. That's weird. We got a power bounce. Badge. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, I know it could be a bit more th enthusiastic reading this text, but I don't really care. These bones, they remind me of my father. There's there's no doubt about it. It's my father. Dad. Um, wait. What's this? Mario. My father's clutching some kind of letter. Or at least his uh, bones are. So what should I do? Should I read it? Yeah, you should read it. Mm, okay, I can do this. Uh, I'll read it. Hmm. Came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I am stuck and can go no further. Then this letter, I shall need note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that begin with a cricket. <laughs> yeah, crickets. Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hooktail's weakness. If one of you had any hope on defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. One last thing. If faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature or fall for its tricks. Last, I do not have the strength to continue writing. I already miss fills my eyes. And my last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I am proud of who you've become. Huh? My son, Colorado, not Coops? Oops. Um, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. Yeah, we're going to switch back to Goombella again. Go check this pile of red bones. Looks pink to me, but... Clearly don't value your lives much come to this castle to disturb us. So you will go no farther and from this moment on you'll be nothing but bone. So 
at first I didn't know what the hell I was supposed to do here, but I figured it out eventually. What's with these numb skulls? Ow! Oh, watch it, pushy. They're shoving me around, Mario. What should we do? You just bust these motherfuckers up with your hammer. And get over here to this pink guy. We'll use her to tattle on him. Nice. Red bone. A little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know. HP 5, attack 3, defense 1. Unlike your average dull bones, even if you pound it to 0 HP and it crumbles, it totally might revive like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of the dull bones and then attack the red bones. Oh, and one more thing. Once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. I'll go with the HP drain, I guess. I don't know what it's going to do. I've never tried it. Damn! Took him out. But he's just laying there, so like she said, he might come back to life, I guess. That would suck. We're gonna tattle these other guys, though. The old bone, sort of a skeleton thing. It, it was a Koopa Troopa once. Max HP 1, attack 2, defense 1. These creeps throw bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements, too. Attacks that can strike multiple dull bones at once are most effective. So we'll go ahead and use a fire flower. And that's it for those guys. Here we got a shine sprite. Mysterious powerful object. Collecting these will help. Okay, I guess it will. Well, I don't. Man, we gotta switch back to Coops again. So there's a little puzzle here. Um. We need this thing. So we can get up here and smash this block. No. What? Oh, okay, I got it. I'm gonna use this brick to get up here. And then fall, great. Whatever, we'll do this first. Switches the stairs around. Allowing us to get this key. No! And very soon is going to be where I like, um... I haven't played much further than this. Oh man, I gotta hit that again. flips the stairs back around. That's, I love how they do that. And a star piece just chilling up here. No. Doesn't really matter. We can use them to launch us up here. Via the purple block. Mm, forget what's in here. Something we get to grab. Another star piece. Nice. Okay, so we didn't have to even fuck with those switches. Just for star pieces. That's cool though. It's a pretty easy puzzle. 
always good to save, so we'll do that. Uh. No, we need to go forward first. I know it. Honey syrup. No, I'm gonna have to get him back. Yeah, you need coops a lot in this area. I like to keep Goombella out though, so I can tattle on people. Oh, okay. Got a black key. Oh, um, Mario, look at that. I don't like the look of this. Come on, run. It's a pretty easy path to get out of here. Man, that was too close. You gotta shake it off. Whew. Okay. We got the key, so let's go open that spooky chest. What the heck? <clears throat> hey, guest? It's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Huh? You heard me? Wow. Wait a sec. If you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it sure is fun zinging with people with that whole legendary hero bit. <laughs> hey, but seriously, folks, I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here so long, it's starting to cramp, and I'd like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous. Who would do that? Really, wait in a box and curse folks? A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball and would do no such thing, but that should be obvious. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine, except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you really don't want to, like finding a key is hard. Hey there, Boy, I'm so glad you found that key. Unbelievable. Wee fools. Well, only the most idiotic pudding brain dope will fall for a scheme like that. The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entered this place t from ever leaving. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse. No charge. Oogly boogly boo. We now you're cursed, doofus. And serves you right. This curse is more cursedly curse worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. So this curse makes you a piece of paper when you press and hold R. Wee, what a curse. Who curses like me? No one. Now I shall show you just how frightful a curse it is. Go on, press and hold R. Press and hold R now. Just look at yourself, how embarrassing for you. Eat a sandwich, skinny. <laughs> you understand what this curse means for you? Yeah. Farewell, you dumbbells. So now we have the ability to turn into a piece of paper. Like that. But it's actually useful. It's not it's also not a really bad thing. Like the other guy that turned us into a plane, like he thinks that's bad or something. It's actually helpful, so 